Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back for another video. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at Ocean Protocol and try to come up with some kind of a short-term price prediction for, for Ocean. Has this cryptocurrency peaked or does it have another leg up to go? Spoiler alert, we are at a draw, a, a line in the sand with Ocean Protocol. I'll show you that on the charts. But if we break through, then I believe potentially this cryptocurrency can go much higher. And I try to do reason, reasonable analysis, not promising a 100x from today's prices within the next few days. But if you like this content, go ahead and smash up that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment in the comment section. So let's go ahead and dive right on into this. Here's what I'm seeing with Ocean Protocol. We are seeing a cryptocurrency. It peaked in the spring of 2021, put in a lower high in the fall of 2021 when a lot of other cryptocurrencies had a second peak, a higher high. And then it just kind of, you know, bottomed out in the bear market until we saw the release of chat GPT, in, you know, just a, a few weeks ago, a couple months ago, actually. And then all of a sudden, boom, it's just, just because Ocean Protocol has AI, it is an AI cryptocurrency, it has benefited from this narrative that has formed around AI, and a lot of AI cryptocurrencies have soared. Ajax is very close to putting in a new all-time high, Fetch AI is, is right behind it, and then we see Ocean, and it, it has certainly been for 2023 an up-only kind of environment, but... Here's what I'm talking about when I see the line in the sand. I, you know, what, what how, how can we analyze this and how can we take a look at this and and try to figure out which indicators are being helpful here? Because I look at regular RSA, RSI, stochastic RSI, MACD. The RSI is obviously going to tell us that this is overbought, which is something you need to keep in mind. But there are plenty of times when a cryptocurrency can be overbought and it can still go much higher, Bitcoin included. And so what do we do about that? MACD, is, it's scorching hot right now on the MACD. But the, for me, the best two things to look at are just drawing a FIB, the basic FIB from the all-time high to the bear market bottom and seeing where we are in that regard, and then taking a look at the volume, which I'm going to do here in a couple minutes. But first things first, line in the sand. We are at the 236 FIB level. And we wicked above that last night, the night before I've make, been making this video, but this is going to be a heavy point of resistance. But then if we break through this, I would say worst case scenario, real, I, I really do believe this, would be that we would see um, Ocean get somewhere around 81, 82 cents, around the 80 cent area. And then even best case scenario after that, we could see potentially a $1 plus ocean price and that could happen very soon and so here's what i'm talking about with the volume if you look at the range of volume here i mean i know it's a little bit hard to see on my chart you can see that historically a great deal of the volume in that has been transacted with ocean has been at, at the below the, the current level the 236 fib level and then right at this level but after that it's pretty much air there, there is very little resistance moving forward after breaking through this 236 level. And so after that, it's like, if we, if, that is a big if, because I, you know, the, we're seeing topping patterns here with AI cryptocurrencies, but if we can break through this, then the sky really is the limit. Now, as far as a specific prediction is concerned, sure, I'll go ahead and say 80 cents. That is around the time, and here's, here's in my opinion how you would trade this. You would see a breakthrough the 236 level, you would see it close on a daily chart, I would say a daily chart above the 236 level, come back and test it as support, set your bid right there, or maybe like a, a hair below it, and then boom, we're off to the races. And I would certainly be taking profits around the next FIB level of 382. And then it's the same deal all the way up. As far as absolute best case scenario, I would say it would be this, a 702 retracement for Ocean Protocol, which is around a dollar and 40 cents. And so this, in my opinion as well, this has to happen fairly soon because Ocean Protocol is a highly inflationary cryptocurrency and not necessarily inflationary, but the amount of circulating supply does increase pretty dramatically over time. And that's something that short term, you don't really have to concern yourself with, but long term, you, re you certainly do. And so here is the circulating supply. I mean, you can see, I just, I don't love tokenomics like this. As of right now, about 50% 
of ocean supply is circulating. A year from now, it's going to be, let's say two years from now, 2025, that's going to be 60% of their supply, which is from its current supply point is a 20% increase over a span of two years. And so 20% inflationary over a span of two years is not too exciting, in my opinion. But then this is going to be pretty highly inflationary for quite a while for most of our lifetimes until it, it kind of flatlines. I mean, this chart ends in 2070. I don't know about you. I'm not planning on being around in 2070. I'm, you know, 41 years old. But anyway, um, that is a concern. As the supply continues to be released, that's a concern. So it, it's just something that, you know, a great deal of this is hype and, and not so much with fundamentals during a euphoria moment where, where a certain kind of narrative takes home or take, takes, uh, takes center stage, you know? I mean, we've seen that with metaverse, we've seen it with meme coins, with NFTs, now we're seeing it with AI. And so, again, this needs to be quick because people will shift their, their cryptocurrencies, their investments into other things. And then there, there's going to be, you know, will AI have another moment in 2024, 2025? I do think so. And I do think that this is a cryptocurrency that will put in a higher high next time around, next bull run. But this is a bear market rally. And so I am not expecting new all-time highs. And again, this is this is my, my level here. I do have... Uh, Ocean, I currently own it. I am in a 5x leverage trade, and if I, the, the, I'm going to at least exit 50% if we get up here. So if we get up here, I'm going to exit. If we get below, if we see a 30 or so percent drop, a little bit more than a 30% drop from its current price, I'm, I'm also going to be unloading some of my position as well. But like I said, line in the sand, where are we going from here? We will see. The next couple of days are going to be telling, and especially with just the general market sentiment as in, in, in general. I mean, we are in the middle, in my opinion, of a bear market rally where crypto will rally higher. Um, but not reach new highs. The total crypto market cap, the price of Bitcoin. And so AI can certainly benefit from the timing of this run. So anyway, I'm not going to go into the fundamentals. This is not a fundamental type conversation that we're having because this kind of price movement does not, it, it doesn't entail fundamentals. We're not seeing anything different, significantly different with Ocean, with Fetch AI, with Vi, um, with all the other AI cryptos, we're just seeing a moment where the hype is here. So if you wanna focus on fundamentals, that's another video for another time, which I will certainly make. But anyway, that is all I have for today. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section of this video. Where do you think Ocean Protocol is going? Do, is this the end? Or do we have much higher to go? Maybe my 80 cent price prediction is a little too conservative. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section of this video. Otherwise, I will see you in another video. Peace.